Have you also been confused about DCT and ICT? So let me explain. So ICT stands for indirect Coombs test. It means in this test, we are checking the presence of antibody against what? Against the fetal RBCs in mother's blood. That's why we always send mother's blood for ICT because we want to test for antibodies in the mother's blood. So if the test is positive, if I say ICT is positive, it means the mother has been sensitized. That means she has been exposed to the fetal blood. How can a mum be ex exposed to a fetal blood? Through antepartum hemorrhage. So whenever there is mixing of mum's blood and fetal blood, the uh, the mum's mum will going to develop antibodies against the RHD negative uh, blood of the baby. So it tests for presence of antibodies. Where do we test? In mother's blood. In a DCT, direct comb test, that is also called direct antiglobulin test, that, all right? It tests for the presence of antibody laden fetal RBCs. So now these antibodies now has uh, come to baby through the placenta and has started attaching to the baby's RBCs. So these are fetal RBCs laden with mum's antibody. So in DAT, DCT, test we check for the presence presence of antibody laid in fetal rbcs all right we add a solution that detects this complex if it turns out to be positive uh, that means that the baby is at the risk of hemolysis because baby's rbc is being attacked by mom's antibody what are these antibody anti rhd antibodies these antibodies crossing the placenta attaching to the fetal rbcs and uh, causing the hemolysis. So these antibodies, now one question comes. Whenever we check for DCT, we ask for the titer. What is the titer? So the titer can be plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. So a mild dad can be seen positive in babies whose mother has received uh, the RHD and TD injections during pregnancies. All right, because even that is an antibody, right? So a mild that is positive in babies whose mum has received anti-D injection in pregnancy. So we have to be cautious about interpreting the result of that. But however, a titer of 3 plus and 4 plus is always in favor of hemolysis.